I hit LeBron and I said, you know, I don't know if it exists, um, but I would, I would like to intern for the Lakers, like intern coaching, like where I give you guys this, the brain right. and how I see the game and try to add, but I get to learn how to like, like, like run practice, do this, break down film because, right. you know, coaching, I said, as a player, we coached. We, we, we got to know everything, time, possession, mm -hmm. what the ref likes, what he doesn't like, who does this, yeah, what. Yeah. We got to know that, right. you know, um, who takes everything personal, so, you know, keep it quiet with them. Um, that's from here. But, you know, watching the game from here is different. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing time and possession and who to sub versus yeah, yeah. us looking over like, yo, get him out of there. You know, that's, you know, you, you have to make subs on, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and I want to learn that. And I was like, you know, I said, no pay, it's an internship. Right. And, you know, I want to learn and study. I think I will learn more information if I'm not being paid. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can help you guys out with right. the information I know and get these guys on, you know, how to be routined and how to, you know, in heighten their, their play with, you know, with the game. And he's like, well, Talinka, you know, so I have that where, you know, I, I just think that, you know, like interning to, to get all that information. Sure. Right. Um, because we have a game that's been given to us in a generation that never questioned any of it. Yep. And the way my brain worked, I have questions to say, why do you guys do this again? Because it doesn't make sense sure. to the overall picture. Like me, if I'm a coach, there's no morning shoot around because I did the study on it, the morning shoot around came in in the 50s and 60s because they were alcoholics. Yes. And you needed to wake their asses up. Right. So why are you doing that now? These guys are not alcoholics. Right. And most likely with the attention span of this generation, whatever information you give them at 10, 11 o'clock does not translate they, they to They need five it again pregame, right. You know, so yeah. you just wait yeah. till five o'clock, let them sleep all, whatever they do at five right. o'clock, give them the information, right. they can turn it on in real time. Right. You know, and, and it's just like little things, like why would you take your best player out at the three minute mark? Why? That's when you're in the penalty. Wouldn't that be when he's most dangerous? Like now you cannot touch yeah, yeah. LeBron James, Anthony Davis when they're like you beat him up the first ten minutes of the game, the first nine minutes you cannot touch him. Why am I gonna put put a cold player in during the penalty when that po cold player is just trying to warm up? So he's not taking advantage of these last mm -hmm. few minutes. Yeah. So when you need more scoring, this guy just got in and he's still stretching and doing all this, and he's waiting for the second period to start anyway before he takes his first couple shots. I know it got really basketball centric at the end, uh, but I really wanted y'all to listen to what Gilbert Arenas had to say about interning with the Lakers and interning with LeBron and taking unpaid internships. I'm going to give y'all three reasons why you should take unpaid internships because this is a controversial topic for some reason in this generation, but I'm gonna give y'all three reasons why it shouldn't be. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and right here we got Gilbert Arenas talking about why he tried to get an unpaid internship with the Los Angeles Lakers. I've had multiple unpaid internships when I was coaching at Montverde Academy under Kevin Sutton, who's an assistant coach at Rhode Island. I had an unpaid internship. Um, when I was trying to do my mortgage career thing that lasted about two weeks, it was an unpaid internship. Anything that I wanted to do in my life, I basically was doing it unpaid initially. And I think when you do things unpaid and you're really, really trying to gain the knowledge, it puts yourself in a position where you know you gotta have some sort of anchor in order to accomplish what it is that you truly, truly want to accomplish. So this is three reasons why you should take unpaid internships. Number one, you really don't have nothing to lose. When you are getting paid for a job, all of us have been in this situation, the reason that you go to that job is because you wanna make money, period. End of discussion, that's why you have that job because you are trying to make money. When you take the money out of it, now you are doing a job because of the work. So because you are doing this job because you actually want to do the work, it puts yourself in a position where you have some sort of anchor. There's something that's holding you there. That's something that's making you get up every single day 
that's not tied to monetary gain and like, oh, well, I need to be able to pay my bills or I gotta be able to take care of my dog or take care of my kids. I'm actually doing the work because I want to because if it's an unpaid internship and you don't wanna do the work, then why the fuck are you there? So you have all the leverage in the world when you have an unpaid internship because you are truly there for the passion of the work. Number two, why you should take an unpaid internship, the people who you work for, they've been in that situation too. So they're gonna pour more into you because they know you're more dedicated. Like I said, all of us have had jobs because we wanted to have money. We wanted to make sure that we we're putting ourselves in the best position where we could get paid and take care of our families. When someone knows you're working for them unpaid, they know that something is holding you there. You got some sort of anchor, so they're going to pour more into you. It's not just about you doing busy work. It's just not about you doing this specific task because I'm paying you. I wanna make sure that you're getting something out of that. Every single intern that's here at Group 82 is unpaid. We don't have paid internships because we do more teaching than we do getting work out of you. Even though I'm not a technical video editing person, I know how videos need to be edited for social media in order to get 50,000 views, 100,000 views, half a million views, a million views, and I got a video on my Instagram right now that has over 2 million views. So because of that, I know what works on social media and I know that these schools aren't teaching these video editors that, so I'm giving you some sort of skill that you'll be able to take with you. I'm pouring into you. And anybody who's a good manager, a good boss, a good owner, they know they have unpaid internships. These are the people they need to be pouring into because they're not just doing it for the money, they're doing it for the knowledge. The last reason you should take an unpaid internship is because you learn the nuances and the love of your field. When I was coaching at Mount Verde Academy for those two years, I didn't get paid. And because of that, those were the best 18 months occupationally I've ever had in my life outside of when I started group 82 and owned my business by far the best two years ever or 18 months how the fuck you want to slice it up and I learned how to run a program I learned how to run a practice I learned how to recruit I learned how to establish a rapport with players that I still have to this day because there wasn't something there like, oh, I need to do this to make sure I'm gonna make more money. I need to get this recruit to make sure that I'm gonna get a bigger job so I can make more money. I wasn't thinking like that. I was in the moment. And because of that, I saw gaps in college basketball. I saw there was a generational gap. I saw that millennials were still behind. I mean, Generation X is still behind and baby boomers were still behind. So I knew that it was gonna be a long time before I was gonna be a head coach. If I had been doing it for the money, I don't know how attuned I would have been to that. But because I was doing it for the love and the passion, I found that and I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to do this. In addition to that, after I left Montverde and I started getting paid jobs, I was a graduate assistant at VCU when I became the director of operations at Jacksonville University. Once I got paid, I saw the business of the game as opposed to actually understanding the passion and love of the game. And it flipped a switch. And it made me realize that there are a lot of people who are working in basketball who don't love it and who don't really care about the kids, who don't really care about the athletes. They're in it for themselves. And I would have never known that had I not had that unpaid experience at Montverde where I had a chance to really fall in love with that team, those two teams that I had there. And when I went on to VCU, who had just came off of Final Four, or Jacksonville University, which the program was a dumpster fuck, I learned that an unpaid internship pay me dividends still to this day. Now when we have unpaid interns here at Group 82, I have stories for them. I have anecdotes for them. I know exactly what they've been through. I know what it's like to balance that internship that's part-time. Mine's at Montverde was full-time, but it's a part-time internship here. It's remote, it's unpaid. I know what it's like to balance that and trying to make money and trying to be in school and trying to do other stuff. I completely get it. And I know if somebody can handle all of that, when it's time to actually pay them, and give them a salary, I know they can handle that job. And I know that they'll be able to be a leader because if you can manage yourself in an unpaid internship while having some sort of occupations making you money while being in school and having other responsibilities, if you can handle those four things, when I take a couple of those away and give you a full-time salary job, I know you'll be able to handle that and I know you'll be able to be a leader. A lot of y'all think you should get paid for everything that you do. If you think you need to get paid for everything that you do, then you need to do shit on your own. And I'm gonna tell you this, when you start doing shit on your own, you're not gonna make any money at first. This is not how it is. You don't make any money when you start off doing shit. I didn't make any money at Group 82 with my music for like two years. That's how it is. So you're either gonna be unpaid working for yourself or you're gonna be unpaid working for someone else and getting all the knowledge. Now I know Gilbert Arena signed for $100 million. I know he's rich as fuck. 
So that's why he's able to take an unpaid internship. But he also knows too, he is not ready to lead a team. So therefore let him give his time in exchange for no money to learn what it's like to run a team so he can put himself in a position to do that down the line. You gotta invest in yourself. You either gotta invest in yourself by paying for education or getting on the hands training. No one is going to pay you to teach you. It doesn't work like that. The whole school system is set up for us to pay school to teach us. And school don't teach us shit. So why would you expect a job to pay you to teach you? Jobs pay you to get a return on the money because you know what the fuck you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, your ass can't work here. What do y'all think? Should unpaid internships be around? Should people do them? Have you had an unpaid internship? What'd you learn? What didn't you learn? Let me know. If you're on Instagram, click the link up top. If you're on YouTube, click the link in the box. Not to pause. Y'all stay true. Don't you dare come nowhere because I need ya. Don't you dare come nowhere because I need ya. Yo te quiero bonita. Baby girl, you's a fine mamacita. Don't you dare come nowhere. Group82music.com.